That is not ideal. Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. As you can probably tell from the title, this is a moving yards vlog. And the weather decided to not be very helpful today and it's decided to pour down with rain. So I'm gonna do my very, very best to get as much footage as I can uh, in the pouring rain with my not waterproof camera. So you might be seeing some phone footage here and there. Our new yard is about 25 minutes from our current yard and we're gonna have to get all the stuff over and then lastly, we're gonna take the ponies over. So the first part of the day is just gonna be getting all our stuff over, which we have a lot of, so we're gonna do our best. But I'm gonna be vlogging as much as I possibly can and hopefully the weather's gonna clear up about halfway through the day. At the end of the video, I'll explain why we're moving yards, all the details, that will come later. But for now, I hope you guys enjoy this moving yards vlog. My dad is in the back, as you can see in the background, getting stuff ready. And now we're gonna get going, move all our stuff over. It's gonna take a while. It's gonna be a whole day thing, but today's Saturday and I'm hoping we can get it all done in one day and we don't have to like cross over into Sunday so they can like settle in today and we can get going Sunday. So far we have our shavings and the first little crate of stuff. There is a lot to get through, but I'm gonna fill up the trailer. So I've currently gone through all my boot boxes and managed to empty this because I'm gonna to need to get all of this in there. I also have all of this, some stuff there, some rugs up there. My dad has taken both the saddles and the numbers and put them in the car, but it's still a lot to get through. Shelf one and two of the wardrobe is complete trailer is getting more full we've got my jump in here now and loads of stuff that we're just piling up and it's not even halfway done yet there's still so much more to go <laughs> squish in our side of the tuck room is now completely bare we've taken our rugs off the rack all that we're leaving is the things I'm travelling them in. So their head collars, the travel boots, travel fleece, inky travel boot. That's all that we're leaving behind because the ponies are coming last. Both the saddle and bridle in the tack locker. Trailer is completely packed. Got all our rugs in there. Just <laughs> has to be thrown in. Got our poles to go in. And pretty much done. Stable number one cleaned out and swept back. Staple number two, all swept out. Right, so we've been at the yard for about an hour and we've packed everything into the trailer. The only things we're leaving behind, like I said before, is the travel boots and travel stuff and travel the ponies in when we come back later. And the only slight blip we've had is that we couldn't get into my dad's shed. The lock was broken. It like, wouldn't let us in, so we couldn't get our feed bins. So we're currently leaving all of our feed here at the current yard because we currently use um, big metal bins that came with the yard. So our old feed bins, like normal buckets and bins that we used to use, we can't get to them. So we can't move the feed over until tomorrow when we can hopefully get into the shed. So that's the only thing being left behind. But everything else we've packed into our trailer and we're going to take it over to the new yard now and put everything together. We're about to do our first journey over to the new yard and take all of our stuff with us. And then we'll come back, get the ponies and then we'll be moved over aside from the feed, which we're going to come back and get tomorrow. So we've arrived at the new place. We haven't put any of the bedding in yet, but we've hung up the hay nets. We're in the two stables on the end. I'll do a proper yard tour at some point later on, but for now, we'll just move in. So for the bedding, we're using my sponsored Aventus Equestrian Bedding, Grade B Shavings Bales. These are my Grade B Aventus Equestrian Bedding Bales, which are highly absorbent, and you can use my code LILY5 for a discount if you want some. Now we have laid out both the stables, a nice fresh bed in and a new net and we've done the same with this stable and crystal is going to go in this stable and inky is going to go in this stable here so we're currently in the process of unloading the trailer i'll show you guys what we've done so far so here is our barn and we have one stable ready for crystal 
and one stable ready for inky. Okay, like I said earlier, I'll be giving you guys a proper yard tour later on, but for now we're just focusing on moving everything in and getting everything sorted. So I'll show you my little area. This is my little area here from the green box there right up until here. For the minute we haven't had any hay delivered, so we've just made up as many nets as we can um, until we buy some hay tomorrow. This is my rug box and my feed stuff is going to go here when we get it. As I explained earlier, we don't have the bins right now. But in here is full of my stuff. This top level is all my lotions and potions, basically anything like that related. Then on the second level is all of my feed supplements, so everything that goes in their feed. On the third level I have my grooming box and my show jumping boot bag. That's where I keep my show jumping boots for shows. So I've got a pair of tendon boots in there, a pair of back fetlock boots, and I've got a pair of overreach boots in there that are purely for show. Down on the last level I have my clippers, my studs, some bandages, some extra pairs of boots, my cross country boots, and all the spare boots I don't really use very much, as well as a high vis for when I go hacking. And that is this section of my wardrobe. This section isn't complete yet, I haven't got everything in there, so I won't bother showing you that. Here we have my yard tools, we have our water container and our washing buckets. Here we have all of my lunging gear is in that box, as well as my whips. We've got some salt licks down there. Here we have some feeds already made up. And like I said, this is my rug box where we keep all the spare rugs that are like winter rugs that we're not going to be using for the summer as the summer rugs go outside their stable, as you can see. And here I have all of my boots piled into this tub here just while we wait for the key for the tack room to arrive as we haven't got one yet, so we're waiting for the owners to come down. But yeah, I've got all my brushing boots, like daily riding boots there. Loads of pairs of overreach boots underneath there. I basically just use on a day-to-day -day basis. So that is our first journey to the new yard complete now. I've moved everything in. My wardrobe doesn't seem to want to shut, which is very helpful. It's quite windy, so I apologise if you can hear lots of the wind. Now we're waiting for the tack room key to arrive so we can move all our tack into the tack room. And then after that, we'll go home, get some lunch, and then we'll go back to our old yard, collect the ponies, and move them over to the new yard. Hello, everyone. So it's time to show you the rest of the yard and nobody's here at the moment and I won't get caught which is kind of embarrassing especially if you're new on a yard so I'm going to show you guys around. So right here we have the entrance and the driveway of the yard which leads down to the barn and all the fields over the back. We have our arena which is by the front of the yard which is just there. I'm afraid from here I'm going to have to mute it and do a voiceover because the wind was just so loud. So this is our little barn here and this is what it looks like from the inside as I already showed you my little area on the right there. You guys have already seen that. Yeah, the wind was really loud so I'm just going to do a voiceover. These are some of the paddocks. They have 120 acres which is a lot of turnout which is absolutely amazing. I love it. It's the most turnout that I've ever been to at a yard and it's really good that the grass stays good and they can be out all year round. So for now, both of my ponies are going to be in paddock number five, which is really close to the barn, which I really appreciate because mostly at yards, we're in a field really far away and we have to trek literally to the other side of the country to bring the ponies in. So it's really nice to have a field that's really close to the barn. Then here we have a lovely little wash bay where you can soak hay nets, bath your horses, fill up water buckets, etc, etc. Then round the corner is our little barn. They have the lights there and some rug racks there to hang up if your rugs are wet. Mine are the first two stables on the right. That's where we're going to be storing our shavings. <laughs> That's why I was gesturing. That's where we're going to be storing our shavings. So left a little gap there. And then that's Crystal's stable and Inky's stable that you guys saw earlier. So there are two stables on the end. And then over here to the right is the tack room. And we were in the process of moving our stuff into the tack room. As you can see, my dad was being very helpful and hanging a saddle up and <laughs> getting involved in the vlog. Well done, Keith. 
So there our two saddles are and our bridles ended up hanging on those two hooks beside them. That happens later on and we also have this entire container that we filled up by the way because I've got so much bloody stuff. Obviously I'm new here so I don't know where everything is right now but that is just the basic yard tour. I'm definitely going to do some hacking exploring. I know there's a cross country course which is very exciting and it's just a really really lovely yard and I'm really happy we're moving here. Galloping up the field, they were a nightmare to turn out. We we're going charging round together. Oh, there they go. And Chris is backing. Don't fall over. Whoa. Calm down. Calm down, please. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Calm down. God, the little nutcases. Oh, please calm down. <laughs> There's shooting going on, so that doesn't help. Oh. Oh. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> God, idiots. Oh, Crystal, don't kick Inky. Oh, she's like, go away. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This has been my moving yards vlog. I tried to get as much footage as I could because everything was very hectic. I couldn't hold the camera the entire time. Unfortunately, I don't have a camera crew to film me with everything I'm doing, but um, I did my best. It was just me and my dad moving and there was a lot to do. So I <laughs> filmed as much as I could. I suppose now I've got to answer the question that you're probably all wondering, why did I move? There are multiple reasons. The old yard didn't have very good hacking. The horses had to come in at 3 p.m. every day. And I like mine to live out over the summer, ideally. There were just some other rules that didn't really work for us that were kind of newly incorporated since we moved to the yard. Because whenever we move to a yard, we always ask, what are the rules? Tell us everything and we, then we can make that decision whether it's right for us. And then it was fine for a long time and then new rules popped up that just, you know, didn't fit for us. There's also a few other reasons that I'm not going to talk about online just for the sake of privacy and there's no point in dwelling in the past or starting drama or anything. But what I can say is I loved all of the liveries. Everyone on the yard was lovely. We made the decision to leave. That was entirely our choice and we left on good terms. So that's all I'm really going to say on it. It's private, you know. There are lots of reasons why people move yards. We wouldn't move for just one silly reason. There was just a lot of things that led us to make that decision and feel that it was right for us. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this moving yards vlog and the mini yard tour I included. Please like and comment and subscribe if you feel like it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.